Hello friends, welcome to Sam Biology class. Today we shall discuss about non-competitive inhibition of enzyme. In this type of inhibition, the inhibitor do not compete with the substrate for binding at the active site of the enzyme. So the name is non-competitive inhibition. Here the inhibitor has no structural resemblance with the substrate. So the inhibitor cannot bind at the active site. Then where does the non-competitive inhibitor bind? The inhibitor bind at a site other than the active site known as allosteric site. Because the substrate binding site and inhibitor binding site are separate, so the non-competitive inhibitor can bind with the free enzyme to form enzyme inhibitor complex and the inhibitor can also bind with the enzyme substrate complex to form enzyme inhibitor substrate complex. In this type of inhibition, the inhibitors share the same affinity toward the substrate and the enzyme substrate complex. This figure explains the process of non-competitive inhibition. This is the enzyme molecule. This specific site is the active site and this is the allosteric site and this is the inhibitor. The binding of the inhibitor at the allosteric site bring about some conformational change in the enzyme molecule. You can see that there is some conformational change in this enzyme molecule. Due to this conformational change, the enzyme is inhibited. Because of this, the substrate can still bind with the active site, but the catalysis is prevented. In case of non-competitive inhibition, the value of Michaelis maintained constant remain unchanged but the maximum reaction velocity decreases. The non-competitive inhibitor lowers the reaction rate by lowering the turnover number. Unlike competitive inhibition, this type of enzyme inhibition cannot be reversed by increasing the substrate concentration. This is because the substrate binding site and inhibitor binding site are separate and the non-competitive inhibitor inhibit the enzyme by lowering the concentration of active enzyme. Let us take some example. Cyanide is a rapidly acting potentially fatal substance if ingested. The toxicity is due to the cessation of oxidative phosphorylation. More specifically say, cyanide inhibit the enzyme cytochrome C oxidase. Cytochrome C oxidase is the last enzyme of the electron transport chain. Another example is the inhibition of a variety of enzymes by heavy metal ions. Metal ions like cadmium, mercury and lead inhibit a variety of enzyme by forming mercaptides with the sulfhydryl group of the cysteinyl residue present in the enzyme. Friends, this is about non-competitive inhibition. For more updates, please subscribe some biology class.